there has been a lot happening in the gotcha community. One of the major things being someone copying Gracie on TV. Not your daily potato, Smolkin. I don't even know anymore, I'm sorry. The copier's name is Perla Day Bubble Tea Lover. I've left a few comments on her videos saying something on how she could go to jail for this. I wanted to clear a few things up. Yes, she can actually go to jail. I've done some research. Yay. I did it so you wouldn't have to. Has your teacher ever told you, remember, do not just copy-paste text in, or remember, you must cite your sources? The reason why they say that is because of this law called plagiarism. The definition of plagiarism is using someone else's work without giving proper credit. There's also that on the top of your bibliography paper for some classes, do not plagiarize. It is a crime. Plagiarism is plagiarizing plagiarism is a crime and can actually in later years get you expelled it is a serious deal which is that is why bibliographies are there so you can cite your sources it is a form of copyright which is a super huge thing that i might not be able to cover otherwise this video would be an hour, would be hours long i do encourage looking up some videos on it but in this video i will strictly be looking off of articles and laws passed in the U.S. I know, they might not live in the U.S., but this would be a bit easier to cover if we actually knew more about them. We know nothing. <laughs> a lot of the stuff is from the, from the early 2010s now, so... Please, all I'm doing is clearing things up. All sources I use will be in the description. First, I wanted to talk about plagiarism, because a lot of people know about it already. There are four different types, and all of them end in punishment. Yeah, that doesn't sound fun. Direct plagiarism, just straight up copying. Self-plagiarism, copying bits and pieces from other papers you write and turning them in without permission from the teacher slash professor. Mosaic plagiarism, changing up the words and using synonyms but also giving no credit. Accidental plagiarism, when someone forgets or neglects to cite their sources or give credit. To give an example, a student S has to write a paper and it and doesn't cite their sources. The teacher catches it and the student is pending expulsion. That has happened before. Most likely, yeah. Copyright is also a huge deal. If you post videos, you might have had YouTube take down one of them. It happened to me when I posted one of my Era 404 Gotcha Life series videos. I used a song that ended with my video being taken down. It's called Copyright Infringement. Plagiarism plagiarismchecker.com slash plagiarism versus copyright summed it up pretty well. Quote, copyright infringement is using someone else's work without getting that person's permission. The author of any original work, including books, essays, web pages, songs, pictures, and videos, automatically gets the copyright to that work, even if she, doesn't she or he doesn't label it with the copyright symbol and her name, end quote. I got copyrighted because of a song which fell under the copyright law, and since I didn't ask for permission, it got taken down. Now, what does this have to do with people impersonating each other online? I couldn't find a direct case like this one, but I found a similar one in Can You Go to Jail for Impersonating Someone Time on the Time website. <laughs> On July 2nd, middle school girls were arrested on felony charges in Hood County, Texas, for threatening other students with a Facebook page created under a classmate's name. Both the girls and the copier are trying to pretend to be someone else. The copier isn't threatening anyone with this, yet. The big problem is yet. This can be used to ruin someone's reputation, which is exactly what those two middle school girls did. Now, the girls went to jail for trying to impersonate somebody, which has actually happened to Small Kitten, formerly known as Gracie on TV, right now. 
The punishment for impersonation can be up to $10,000 and or a year up in jail. The punishment for copyright infringement can be up to $250,000 and up to 10 years in prison. A quarter of a million dollars. If I were the copier, I would take all the videos down, apologize, and leave. No amount of fame is worth prison and the consequences. I'm sorry for having to bring this subject up. I just thought it was a really important thing that we should talk about. I mean, it's really relevant right now, and I think some people should at least learn about this. Because it's a really, really big deal. Getting work stolen is no joke. I'm sorry, I kind of laughed a little bit through this. I couldn't take myself seriously when I was looking at the script I wrote. I'm so glad I revised that. <laughs> so pretty I don't know what to call you small kitten I have no idea what's really what to call you I don't I don't have any dignity or respect any kind but I just want to say I'm sorry that this is happening to you and I will try my best to see what I can do about it I don't know where they live so I couldn't look up copyright laws for their country, but this is the best that I could do. Um, anyways, with that out of the way, <laughs> thank you for watching. It was really actually kind of fun to research this. I don't get to research that often. And uh, it reminds me of all the stuff I have to do for school. Luckily, it's negative 60 degrees outside tomorrow, so I don't have to do anything really tomorrow. And, yeah, <sighs> thank y'all for watching, and I'll see y'all later. Bye!